First, add an H1 or any other element with your text in it. I will quickly center things and add some background color, as well as changing the size and font of the text. These steps are necessary, but everything after that will be needed for the effect. The first important step is to make the color transparent. Instead, we add a stroke. Then make the position relative. This will be needed for the next steps. With the before selector, we can add a pseudo element, which in our case will be the revealed text. Therefore, the content value has to be the same text as the H1 element. Change the position to absolute, so it overlays with the original text. This wouldn't work without the parent's position being relative. Set the width to 0, the height to 100% and the overflow to hidden. This will make sure the top text will be hidden. Then add color as well as a border to the right. The last important step is to add a transition. Now to the hover effect itself. All you need to do now is to make the width of the before element 100% and if you like add a drop shadow.